Hey Titans, this be your boy Scott and this is another segment of Ask, Ask Scotty. And um, today I only have two questions, um, which brings me to my um, to my conclusion. Um, in order for me to do with Ask Scotty again, I'm going to have to have more questions and more concerns, whatever, in my email, which is Mr. Steel Standing with the G at yahoo.com so this is probably going to be my last ex Scotty for a while until I get more questions unless you guys have sent me stuff in my DMs and I haven't seen it yet because sometimes I really don't get my DMs and I don't mean to you know ignore people's DMs that's not even my um, thing but um I don't necessarily try to ignore people in DMs but I don't get them you know, right then and there. Sometimes I don't get them till later, and sometimes I don't get them at all. So, in order for me to do another Ask Scotty segment, I'm going to need more questions and more people to send stuff in. I got over 900 and something subscribers, so I think that we will be doing a little bit better with the Ask Scotty segment. If you want um, more Ask Scotty, all you have to do is email me, send me your questions about any type of life situation that you need advice on and I will give it to you. I also want to thank you guys for watching my last video that I did earlier this morning at uh, like around midnight uh, this morning called My Bitch Are You Serious? My second edition and I like to see that you all are, have mixed opinions on the situation that I was in earlier this week with um, an ex-friend. So um I'm glad that you guys, you know, would tell me that I'm wrong. I don't really um, take offense to anything you guys are saying because, like I said, I'm very imperfect. I'm not perfect at all, and I am. I can be right, and I can be wrong sometimes, and that's how we all are, and that's what I'm here for, to let everybody know that everyone is not perfect. Everybody's not going to make the right moves, and even just reading some of the comments, I've even come to the realization that maybe I should have handled the situation a different way, or maybe I should have just paid the dust. You know what I'm saying? So... That was, ther that was therapeutic for me to even say that and then for y'all to even leave y'all comments and let me know what y'all thought. So don't think I took offense to any of your comments. Um, I'm not even going to mention the fuckery that be going on in front of my Basketball Wives video because I've I explained myself so many times. But now that I got the announcements out of the way, let's get into the two questions. I have one serious question and one light question. I'm going to start off with the light question first and I'm going to leave the serious question for last. So the first question, well, the first statement is, Hey, Mr. Steel Stanley, just want to let you know that I've only started watching your videos two weeks ago, and boy, I love them. I'm already a major fan, and I have officially watched them all, and whenever I get an email about you just posting a video, I rush to the computer, and I'm always laughing. I think your videos are awesome. You say everything that I'm usually thinking. Keep posting. I told all my friends about your videos, and I'm all the way from the Caribbean island of Barbados. My name is Dario. Keep doing your thing. Someday your channel will be more popular than you know. There are some more videos I see people posting. They're not half as good or as funny as yours. But yet they have some... Yet they have more people following. I think once your channel gets known, you're going to do very great. Have a great day and take care. Dario. First of all, I just want to thank you for saying that. Like I had no idea that... Um, People that were out of my, you know, out of the out of the country was even watching me. Like I didn't even think that, you know, that many people were even looking at me. But you know, um, like I was saying, I really do appreciate everybody that do watch my videos. You know, sometimes we all butt heads with each other, but I do, um, I do, um, appreciate my titans because, like I said, I've been doing this shit since November 2010, and I've been Facebook vlogging since 2009, so technically I stopped Facebook vlogging last year when I started my YouTube channel or whatever months prior to that. So, you know, I've been told to get on YouTube for the last three years, and I, and I didn't even, well, the last two before I got on YouTube. Um, and I never would do it because I didn't think that I had the personality or the charisma or the ability to entertain everybody like the people that I watch. Because like I said, the people, the main two people that I was watching when I first, before I even started my channel was the Scorpion Show. And I was watching um, Sweet Addictions TV, especially from the very beginning, like when it was Candy and Skittles, I was watching them. And I was even watching Spoken Reasons as well. So I never thought that I had the 10th 
of a personality as those three did. So when I started my channel, all I really did was be myself. You know what I'm saying? What you see on these videos is actually how I am in real life. This is how I talk. This is how I act. Some of it is for entertainment purposes. Like, you know, when I curse a lot in these videos, I curse a lot outside of the camera. But I know when I go into a professional setting or when I'm trying to go to an interview for a job or talking to the school that I'm trying to get into, I know not to curse. And I know how to, you know, not to do my hands and act all hood and, and shit like that. I know how to keep that in. But, you know, this is my overall person. This is my personality. You know, I didn't get in front of the camera and say, well, I'm going to act like this this day. I'm, I'm going to act more outlandish. I'm going to be more over the top that that wasn't my plan at all when I when I decided to do this video these videos I decided that I was gonna come in and I was gonna be myself and I was gonna let my own personality flow within the videos there's no need for me to create a fake um, facade for for YouTube I'm just gonna be Scotty that's why I am and that's why you guys watch me and that's why you guys love me despite the fact that you guys don't agree with everything that I say and like I say I don't want you guys to agree with everything that I say just because you watch me if you have a different opinion just say so but you know it is what it is though like I love all of my titans even those that have unsubscribed from me because they didn't like what I was saying you know rest in peace but it's just what it is you know what I'm saying so um again Dario um thank you for writing me and I know this is pretty much old because like I said every because I'd be so consumed with my reality show videos that I don't really be you know, I don't really have time to squeeze in my Ask Scotty segments or my, my testimonies, which are my testimony I haven't done in months, or my, my perspectives, and I'm always late on celebrity gossip. So, I'm trying to get better with that. I know this is late, and I also noticed that you sent me another message recently about me not sending you a shout out, and I'm sorry about that. It wasn't meant to be like that, you know what I'm saying? I just didn't really see it, you know what I'm saying, so... You got it now, and I hope you're happy, and thank you for watching, and thank you for putting me on to all of your friends, and shout out to Barbados as well. The last question is this. Um, I guess he, he sent me questions before, so I'm guessing he wants me to say his name. Hey, Scotty, this is one of your titans, LOL. I want to know, is it wrong to live my life for me and not give a fuck about what, ev what anybody is going to think? Because I come from a very conservative family, and I recently told them that I was gay. It's ever since my mom and I have been drifting apart, and we used to be really close. My dad doesn't really talk to me anymore. My brother and sister act like they're ashamed of me, and it hurts. I just turned 18 and got my own apartment and I'm in college. Should I just cut them out of my life completely or try to make it work? Because at this point I'm tired of being looked down upon people that I thought loved me. Sincerely, Trey. Hmm. What can I say to this? Like, I've seen this happen, you know, so many times and it's hurtful. It's very hurtful when you when you decide that you want to live a certain way or you want to do things a certain way and this and that that your own family you know doesn't respect you enough it doesn't respect your decision enough to support you in what you want to do and how you want to live your life that's very disheartening because these are people that's supposed to love you unconditionally right so if you're supposed to love me unconditionally then why are you treat me this way because I live this way or because I act this way because I'm not the way you want me to be. Family can sometimes be the worst people in the world to you. And let's just be honest. Sometimes, you know, people always use this blood is thicker than water bullshit all the time. But is it really? Because sometimes your best friends can treat you so much better than your family can. You know what I'm saying? And even though even though I have a solid a solid enough relationship with my family. There have been times where I I was at my lowest point and I honestly turned to my friends long before I turned to my family because you know I don't know what it is. Sometimes your best friends can treat you so much better than your family that it's a shame. And sometimes you look at your family and you be like, are you really my family? Like, are you really down for me like you say you are? And you know, I honestly think that your mother and your father and your brothers and sisters are actually wrong and they should be ashamed of themselves for treating you like that because you're gay okay you're gay so what but at the end of the day you're still Trey being gay is just a part of your life it's just a part of your personality it's not it's not the end of the world because you're gay yes 
with uh, yet yeah, through most parents like I'm just gonna be real do most parents wake up in the morning and say I want my child to be gay no they don't like that's not the type of life that they um want their child to have but you have to also but also parents also have to look at it like this does they child wake up in the morning and say okay I'm gonna be gay today okay I want to be gay they don't because gay being gay is not a choice don't you think that um if it was a choice do you think anybody would choose being gay I don't think they would and um you know because of the backlash everybody gets and because how hard of the lifestyle it really is do you really think that if, if it was a choice that people would just say that I'm gonna be gay because I wanna be no I don't honestly think that and do you think that I mean, you can't help who you love, you can't help who you like, you can't help who you are attracted to. Just like straight people can't help that they like, they like, like, straight men can't help that they like women. Or straight women can't help that they like men. I don't think that they woke up in the morning saying they finna be straight. They woke up in the morning and they like women because they like it. That's what they are attracted to. I don't think anybody acts to be attracted to a certain person. That's just that's even like a straight person. You know, it's even like a straight group of people talking and they talk about their friend. I don't know why they like that ugly ass motherfucker. I don't know why they like this motherfucker. You don't know why they like it, but they know why they like it. They didn't ask to be attracted to them, but that's what they like. They can't help what they like. They can't help what they're attracted to, and they cannot help who they love. That's just how life is. Everybody is not going to be the same. Everybody's not going to live the way that you want them to live. So until people get over themselves and realize that, then this world is going to always be a corrupt, fucked up ass world. And I just think that you, at this point, if they can't accept you for who you are, then fuck them. Sometimes you just have to throw their hand up and say, look, I got to live my life for me. I'm a grown ass man. I'm in college. I got my own place. I'm living for me and myself. Everything that I got is for me. Yes, I'm 18. I got my, but you see, that's good. You 18, you in college, you got your own shit. You're doing much better than me. I'm sitting up here 23. I'm at home with my mom. And I'm just now getting ready to get back into school now. You know what I'm saying? You doing better than me. So my whole thing is, you 18, you in college, you got your own shit and your parents still can't commend you for you, you know, trying to get your higher education for you, doing things on your own for you, not having to ask them for shit. They can't even accept that, but they want to focus on the fact that you are gay. Who gives a fuck about you being gay? That shouldn't even be, that shouldn't even be um, the concern. Yes, they're going to be concerned about what people think, you know, gay bashing and how people commit suicide every, um, you know, every other day because they're gay. But this is why people commit suicide because they're gay, because their families don't accept them, because their friends don't accept them, and everybody pushes them all away. And then when they decide that they want to kill themselves, everybody want to sit back and say, damn, I should have did this, or I should have did that. You would think that with all the suicides that is going on with amongst the LGBT community, with the gay and lesbian groups, you would think that people would take a you know would take a look and say I shouldn't treat somebody this type of way or I shouldn't do this because you never know what the consequences can be not everybody is strong enough to deal with these things everybody's not strong enough to deal with rejection from their family and friends or deal with the bash and deal with anything not everybody is emotionally able to deal with that and they take suicide you know to just take the easy way out so my whole thing is this if they can accept you for who you are fuck them you don't need them they're not as much as family as you think they are so fuck them and I know it hurts I know it's gonna hurt for you to just back off but if that's what it has to take for you to be happy for you to live your life and not to worry about what the what the opinions of other people are Fuck them, because they're already pushing you away anyway. And your mother and your father should supposed to be your protectors. They're supposed to be there for you and for them to push you away just because you're gay, because you like guys. They don't want to love you the same. I don't understand that, and I wish people would stop thinking, stop being so fucking close-minded. I don't care if you are in a conservative family. You're supposed to love a person for who they are. If you really do love your child, or you really do love your sibling, your cousin, your aunt, whatever, love them for who they are. Being gay is not everything about them. Being gay is just a part of them. Love them for being kind. Love them for being, you know, strong. Love them for being um, a good 
all around good person. Love them for being educated. Love them for being this. Love them for being nice. Love them for just being who the fuck they are. Not what they are, but who they are. Because at the end of the day, just because you gay don't mean that you're not Trey anymore. You're still Trey, even if you are gay. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you still you. You just gay. That's it. Who gives a fuck about all that? But if they give a fuck about it and they can't really talk to you, then fuck them. I understand that it hurts you and it's gonna hurt you to want to push them away. But if that's if that's the, if that's the, the type of thing that you have to take, then you just gonna have to let them go or take them to therapy or something like that or try to have a conversation with them. But if you can't do that, then what's what's the use? You just have to live for yourself. It's not wrong for you living your life the way you want to. It's your life. It's not theirs. They're not, st they're not the ones that have to deal with this shit. You are. So at the end of the day, you live your life. Fuck with the rest things. Even if it is your mother and father. Even if it is your brother and sister. Fuck what they think. This is you. This is who you are. This is who you're destined to be. And that's what it is. And with that being said, this was... My um, Ask Scotty segment, um, like I said, in order for me to do another one in the future, I'm going to need more questions. So please email me at Mr. Still Standing with the G at Yahoo.com. And make sure you follow me on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash Mr. Still, Mr. Underscore Still Standing without the G. And I'm out of here, you guys. Um, I'm going to go on and upload this video. I'm just been pushing these videos out like crazy, right? So hopefully tomorrow I'm going to do, hopefully tomorrow I'll either do um, my perspective because there's a lot of shit that I want to talk about or my testimony. Either one will be fine with me. So I'm out of here, you guys. Peace.